late Thursday night, we uh, we were called out to a uh, power allowance on fire, a uh, possible structure fire. So we responded to the hall, um, jumped in engine one, which is usually our kind of our big attack truck, and uh, we had five members on board and had proceeded down. Uh, we also had three or four members that were going to jump in our tender four and uh, and back us up with it. Um, upon arrival around where the Naramata store was, we could see the massive fireball and it was uh, it was then that we figured out it was more than just power lines that it was a uh, definite structure fire um, so uh, we kind of wrapped everything up I asked for a second page out so we get all available members um, arrived on scene um, figured we were going to attack it right away um, not hit a hydrant with the first truck but hit it with the second truck and then supply it to the first truck uh, we wanted to hit it hard and, and as fast as we could because it was already going really well and uh, we wanted to make sure the houses on either side we could we could protect them because uh, that was our number one concern the building was already pretty much fully involved and the, uh, the immediate homes were definitely in danger of being caught on fire so um, we figured we just we, we try the uh, quick attack to it uh, see if we can get ahead of it a bit which we did and once we got the water source um, we started doing kind of a plan B plan C right after that so you have to read the winds on a night like that? The the winds were coming from the north. It blew, uh, it almost looked like a firestorm. There was embers traveling right across the road, right across Robinson Point Road, um, right to the hotel. So, I mean, I, I didn't even want to get one of our trucks too close because I wasn't sure if the winds were going to change a little bit and they would be landing on us. So, um, that was the other thing that slowed us up a little bit. I, you know, positioning of trucks, uh, where, where was a safe spot and all that kind of stuff. But there was a lot of people around. We had to make sure we got them out of the way also. So... Uh, there's a lot of factors right away within the first three or four minutes so it was a very chaotic scene for the first five or ten minutes and you had to establish right away that the uh, the occupants of the home were safe yes and as soon as we got as soon as i got off the truck and started getting things uh, lined up and, and guys in position um, we heard that there was a, a neighbor in one of the homes that was possibly still in his home so then we had to get a couple of our guys and, and uh, check and make sure that he was out of the home because um, that was the immediate home next to the trouble so um, in doing that, we found out he was in the back of the house, um, away from his house a good distance, but we got him into a safe spot and uh, went from there. Given the wind and everything going on, a lot of people in the community credit uh, your efforts at, uh, at preventing this from burning other properties, other, oh, other homes. It, it was definitely, uh, it could have been a lot worse than it was. Uh, the guys did a great job, uh, you know, guys like Kelly Holman and Eric Peterson, guys that dug in and, and you know with seven guys eight guys at our initial attack uh, a lot of those guys were doing two and three jobs right off the bat so um, it, it like I said it was a lot to take on the first five or ten minutes and then we got settled down and then we sort of got at it and they did a good job they did a great job here we are a few days after the fire and uh, you've told me uh, off uh, off camera that uh, the community showing us gratitude as well oh it's unbelievable and it's it's the, probably the neatest part about living in a community like Naramata is to, to have people acknowledge the fact that you know, the effort and the extra volunteer stuff that you do to try and help out your community. It's, you know, the the little stimpet that we get for, for doing this uh, doesn't even come close to when someone, you know, thanks you for the, the efforts and the time that you put in. It's really appreciated, like really appreciated by the guys here. And in a couple of weeks, you're going to welcome everybody to the fire hall for the open house. Yes, we have a big open house and uh, we're encouraging everybody from the village and even from Penticton if they want to come on out and see what our fire hall is like and take a look at our apparatus. We're going to have some uh, working setups. So we're going to have CPR section, uh, auto extrication section. So there'll be a lot of kind of interactive uh, setups for people to see and they can uh, get a better idea of what the fire department is actually all about.